Surviving the Great Recession. Well, we've been through one, haven't we? I was at Starbucks the other day. Starbucks is the official office of the new normal. It is filled by people who are working all day long without paying rent. There's free Wi-Fi as well. I walked by a fellow who was talking to some colleagues. The words that came out of his mouth amplified for me in the air. We survived, he said. You could see the journey and the crevices of his brow. I can imagine this conversation. We survived, but we came out different. We had to make some major changes. Many of our competitors didn't come out of it. All true. I have heard it many times. I am often at Starbucks. The Great Recession changed everybody, everything and most values. Do you trust your bank, your mortgage company, your employer, your boss, politicians, oil companies, your athletic heroes? Where do you shop now? Do people who drive 150,000 cars look successful to you? Do you buy your kids hoodies at surf shops or Target? What companies do your children admire? Do you worry less or more? Has what's important to you changed during the Great Recessions? Many companies didn't survive. Where's New Century? Where's Mervyn's? Where's Kodak? Many logos on office towers have changed many times where I lived. I worked for JWT Chicago for four years on the 27th floor of the John Hancock building. It's still there. It was the show JWT Chicago opened in 1891 and closed during the Great Recession. The times, they are a changing, a prophet sang. A whole class of people has been marginalized. They reach out to me. They lost good jobs during the Great Recession that they can't replace. Generally, they're 50 plus. They are not in a position to retire. There are probably millions of them out there who have tried everything to get picked, but they are continually overlooked, feeling like the last kid picked in the game of Red Rover, the new normal's lost generation. Some can create a job by starting a consulting career, but others don't know how to productize their knowledge and turn it into a business. One of the jobs that I've had in the past at an agency probably doesn't exist anymore, or there are fewer of them. Look into the future. Do you think that the position that you're working in will be around in five years? If not, then today's the first day of your life. You can become marginalized because of the cost which often increases with age. You can become marginalized because of your skills. If you let that happen, that is your choice. You have to change as fast as technology today. That's today's benchmark. When kids were young, we sometimes told them to act their age. When you're older, you have to reflect the age of relevance. It doesn't make you bulletproof, but it does provide you a vest. You see, in the new normal, many things don't align with the old normal. Companies are cash rich, the stock market sings, but hiring lags. Some months the news is all happy and the next month, not so much. In a new normal, you have to be ready for the next change and it will happen. Hopefully not for a long time, but I still remember the dot-com bus of a decade ago. Maybe some don't because they weren't alive or they weren't in the workforce or maybe because the pain was relatively short-lived. So where are you today? Are you ready to be fired? When's the last time you reinvented yourself? Have you made yourself smarter today? How large is your network? Have you made yourself more marketable today? There is a train coming down the track. It hasn't hit us yet, but sometimes in the distant future, it will. It always has in the past.